That's basically what we're saying is, here's our scores, come and meet us. We made it up to Greenville, Spartanburg area today. It was about a six hour drive, nothing too crazy. We went over to crash, loosened up, got, got a little bit of sweat on, and now we're back here, we're chilling at the hotel getting ready for a full weekend of quarterfinals action. First workout that comes to mind, actually JR sent me, because workout one leaked a little bit before the rest of them, immediately saw that, knew I was stoked for that one. I mean, how much more CrossFit does it get? Just interval style, especially with Brute, like we trained so many intervals, snatches, rowing, step ups. Like, could not be more stoked about that one. And then also workout four, heavy barbell. Who doesn't want to lift a heavy barbell? And personally, I like lots of reps. Uh, over a one rep max. So we're thinking with the order of the workouts, uh, we all kind of had opinions, but it all kind of fell under the same umbrella. So we're gonna start with workout four, which is the clean and jerks. We figured that one's heavy, uh, also heavy on the CNS. So we're gonna get that one out of the way right away. Uh, make sure we're feeling fresh for that. And then we're actually gonna go into the gymnastics uh, chipper repeat of, repeated rounds type workout, which these are actually workouts three and four, and these ones aren't due till Monday, but the idea behind this was to be as fresh as possible because if you look at some of the other workouts, you can always do one of those movements where the more high-skilled movements and heavier barbell, fatigue starts to play a factor. So we're going to hit four and three tomorrow, Thursday. And then we're going to go back to workout one Friday morning, which is the snatches, rowing, and step-ups. Um, just pure CrossFit. That one, we might feel a little bit from the snatches, I expect, depending on how we approach those, if we're just going like, the full snake snatch where grip it and rip it, the back doesn't exist kind of thing. Um, you could be a little sore from that one. And then to finish it up, I think potentially the most painful workout, we're gonna go with three rounds, 50 wall balls, 50 burpee box jump overs, 150 reps each of those. Um, and the main reason we are doing this one last is some of our quads could be feeling it with the constant squatting and jumping over the box, as well as if you really look at this workout, it's 300 presses, whether it's pressing off the ground or pressing the ball overhead. And I think people could underestimate that if they were to do it, do this one and then do all the handstand push-ups and muscle-ups because that's just a lot of pressing. The whole idea, like I feel like we're going so against the grain when it comes to quarterfinals. In the past, it's always been super secret. No one, you don't share your scores. Maybe you've got someone in a different region that you're willing to compare some stuff with, share some thoughts with, but what we're doing this weekend is, I mean, Colton's in the West, I believe. Um, and then the three of us, me, Jason, Taylor, are all in the East. So not only are we fighting for the same spots, but we are broadcasting our scores to everybody. Everyone's gonna be able to watch live. And I guess basically what we're saying is, here's our scores, come and beat us. Did uh, y'all go potty together? Colton helped me wipe. Because I, uh, I saw him walk out. With you, yeah. Uh, do you, like, did you actually, I, t I hit him up with a text. And I said, "Hey, I need help wiping." Uh, Colton, being the being the man he is, just stand up guy. I mean, I mean, he's used to working with pigs, right? Touche. We got four as number one. We'll go all four. We'll set up like a big square, I think, and just everyone's just gonna go at each other. That's what she said. <laughs> Circle jerk. Wait, we are. Like, but there's a clean before it, so it's like a clean jerk. <laughs> Me, Taylor, Colton, Jason. I would argue Taylor is the fittest man to never make the CrossFit Games. I love Taylor. Wow, that's a... I feel like even that's a bold that's statement. Pretty sweet. That's a pretty cool thing to say. Well, it's like kind of like true love. What I'm going to do is I'm going to win quarterfinals, <laughs> and then I'm going to win semifinals, I'm not going to go to the Games. No one's doing stuff like this, and I think people miss good CrossFit content. People miss having fun. People miss putting things on the line. People, I think people in the community are sick of people hiding behind smoke screens, not seeing anything of anyone until semifinals in the games. Fake weights, exactly. Loop videos. Yeah, loop videos, fake weights. Ooh. Putting up the butter knives three months before the open so you don't cut your finger off. You know. I've never heard of any athlete. Uh, <laughs> he was good. He was good. I keep the butcher knife out. Honestly, pretty lucky with the programming. Also, you had to be fit, and these guys are all really fit. So I'm just going to ride their coattails to a qualification spot, hopefully. What's interesting is there's two competitions within this competition. One, I need to set the best time you can get. But then also, there's 5K on the line. Oh, there's one on the line? Yeah. Wow. 
first place is 5K between the four of us. I don't know. There's a weird balance of making sure you're looking at the whole picture of quarterfinals as well as the competition here. Because uh, there's Semox final spot on the line and money on the line. Will you go to Disney World if you win the 5000 I'll take you to Disney World. Yeah. You will not need to be in pillar mode for the first three years. Be in that almost like your uh, uh, Brutal Friday mindset. And then we're going to turn it on. Down Pepper 2020. Four quarter finals workout. Hey guys, down here. I hope you guys are loving watching me crush these losers, or maybe you're about to watch me crush these losers. It doesn't matter though, because I have a very special message directly from me to you. I have the best looking belt on the Tupu site. We decided to do something a little bit different this week only, limited edition. We're going with the inverse, the black. And if you happen to be one of the first people to order this belt, I'm gonna sign it, send it directly to you. So you can head over to the Tupu site, find this belt, get it, and It'll show up to your doorstep, signed by me. And remember, once you go black, you never go back. Were you happy with that? Yeah, that was really good. Went out a little bit, just trying to bait some people. Colton seemed to be just doing this thing, which was quite neat. Yeah, that was really good. Uh, I ripped out three reps quick, just to see what would happen. I think I got a couple people to stick with me. And then, just hold on. Did you beat all them? Me and Colton tied, but I had the tie break. So, you did beat him. So that's a belt, the down pepper. One down, three to go. Three, second workout of the day, going down. Me and Jason are going head to head. Taylor and Colton are going to hit it after us. It's just the way the chips fall. They're soft, so they want to see us go. Give them a time to beat or something. What's the uh, strategy on this workout? I broke it, handstand push up. Yeah. First round. Yep. One split on toes to bar. One split on strict handstand push up. Consistency on the rope. Yep. Three splits on the wall facing. Okay. And then on the rings, one big set. Drop. Freaking Trader Joe's, man. Yeah, those ice cream sandwiches. Shit, dude. Those are so yeah. good. <laughs> yeah. Every time I walk over in the freezer, you have to buy it every time. Do you, do you think the ice cream? It's the videographer's fault. The downs of the weight. I, I thought you were his nutritionist. Uh, I'm not, I don't have that job no more. That's on Jenny. Like Jenny's ice cream? No, Jenny's my coach. <laughs> These opportunities, right there, right then and there, you go, all right, fuck it. Now I, got, now I know exactly what you need to be working on. Oh, it's so specific. Exactly. Hey, yeah, the better you get, the very, the more specific you get. I don't think it's a body movement. I think you just need to get better at gripping apart. Yeah. 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 yeah, we don't. It doesn't. The goal is sub nine. Mm -hmm. I feel like I wouldn't. Would. I didn't fail reps. Yeah. yeah. And it sucks that I can talk to you and my breathing is so fine. I don't know, my muscle outside is just like stuck at the bottom. Yeah. Like I couldn't even get in a position to like try and kick. Yeah. And so just like stuck. Yeah. Uh, like a, the uh, handstand push-ups like that one for the plane. I honestly believe, like, if just looking at today, we split up those toes to bar into three sets, yeah. you might hold a little bit more fatigue and not hit two failed reps. Yeah. So now you know when you have core fatigue and grip fatigue, how much longer you need to rest mm -hmm. on the ring so you don't fail. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. Even if, like, shoulders and chest feel okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Yeah, it's 
quarter finals. Yeah, it's only it. All right, everybody, thank you for watching. We are back on YouTube. And if you want more same day content from the legend Mike, make sure we're liking, subscribing, hit, hitting you with a comment. All of that helps a ton. And we'll see you guys again tomorrow.